Hi there. I'm going to the uh, museum. Okay, good. Thank you. At Moffett Field today in Mountain View, California, home of NASA Ames Research Center, here to visit the Moffett Field Museum. If you're not from the Bay Area, I'll give you a little background. Moffett Field plays a really significant role as an air base here. Whenever the president comes into town, you'll see Air Force One landing here. Google's now leased this space for the next 60 years, so you'll see a lot of their aircraft. Moffett holds a really special place in my heart. My grandfather, Butch Boris, who was the first leader of the Blue Angels, he flew out of here in the early 1950s. Harley Hall actually flew out of here in the early parts of his career. I got to intern here at NASA Ames Research Center in the early 2000s. But what makes this place really special to me is that I got to see my very first air show here back in 1987. Having a good time, Ryan? I remember sitting with my mom just before the show started and we were under the wing of Fat Albert and she whispered in my ear that I could go up and run and touch Fat Albert. My grandfather got super nervous that I was going to embarrass him in front of all the Blue Angels. The Blue Angels actually invited my brother and I to go up into Fat Albert and sit in the cockpit and that's an experience I'll never forget. Come on Ryan, this is your big chance, honey. Now one of the cool things about the Moffett Naval Aviation Air Museum, which I'm about to take you to, is the static displays. One thing you'll notice is that there's an F-18 Hornet here in blue colors. That was actually one of the original Blue Angel Hornets that came over with the team uh, and served on the team from 1987 to 1989. I'll see if they let me in there and take a closer look. Hello, how you doing? And then are the static displays open by chance outside? Uh, you have to get a uh, docent to take you out. Right now, they're all eating lunch. And one thing I really like about museums, like the Moffat Museum, are the docents. The conversations they have are priceless, and how passionate they are about the subject of aviation is actually really funny. So in addition to the F-18 outside that used to belong to the Blue Angels, this uniform right here on display used to belong to Dusty Rhodes, who was the third leader of the Blue Angels. The original purpose of that big hangar outside was back in the day, they used to house blimps like this, dirigibles. Unfortunately, the USS Macon had a mishap and crashed into the Monterey Bay. A second attempt at getting a docent to get me out to see the F-18 Hornet. Wish me luck. I notice there's a docent now out at the... Uh -huh. Can I just walk you, to the gate? No, you can't. You have to have someone actually take you out there. I like wave them down or like what do I do? You got one plane there. If you touch the wings, you can, you can touch yourself. So behind me, finally, one of the original F-18 Hornets of the Blue Angel fleet. After 1989, it went to Moffett Field where it stayed and worked in the wind tunnel, and now it's on display here. Supposedly, if you look really close, you can still see some of the Blue Angel emblems on the airplane. There it is, there's the Blue Angel emblem that you can still see just kind of fading off the paint job there. Here you go, I'm on the other side of the aircraft now, and right here you can actually see that there is a remnant of a Blue Angel logo on there. So I think the bottom line here is if you're patient and can wait for the docents to finish their lunch, it's totally worth waiting around because you can get out here. It's really special when you can find some of these old Blue Angels. Love it. The problem is, is that the docent is out here with multiple people and they lock you in, so you all have to leave as a group. So I'm waiting for the other group to finish so I can leave. Now behind me here, you can see Hangar 1. Hangar 1 has always dominated the landscape here in Silicon Valley. Uh, what you'll notice from maybe 10 years ago is that she is now just a shell of her former self. They took off the original cover of Hangar 1 because uh, there was asbestos problems. The city of Mountain View wasn't really sure what to do and they actually considered taking Hangar 1 down, but thanks to Google, they've offered to take care and cover the cost of the renovations and it looks like Hangar 1's here to stay. 